between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and m and Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you look at this Raven team as they get ready here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Chiefs, it's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So now the Ravens getting ready for their first go on offense. And they'll be led out by their quarterback, the very, very talented Andrew Luck. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. They go play action here on first down. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. And this O-line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. First carry now for Alex Collins. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. Time to check the defensive starters here for Kansas City. They played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. No matter what coverage was called, they were in the hip pockets of the receivers all game long. I mean, they were running the routes with them. Turned out, they were right there on every single ball thrown and came away with five interceptions. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. A shotgun snap for Love. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. K1 short. He's the one that gets him down. It'll be a loss of five, and it'll bring up fourth down. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe mm. a back, someone to help assist, because right now, their quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Everything looked good, good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And because they couldn't hit the long field goal, they are set up nicely offensively at the 41, first and 10. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurner. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Now Gurley, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. From midfield now, here's Wilson. 
to the right side and complete to Hurst. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now Wilson steps away to his left. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And his throw is incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Play action, it's Wilson. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete and now third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throw into too much double coverage. Might have a couple of them picked off. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw is Wilson. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And they'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And Suckup will put this one right through. And the Chiefs are out to a 3-0 lead. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, a little closer. Yeah, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails... Less of a field goal attempt for him. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where... Every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. He's already topped his receiving output from a week ago, and we're just in the first quarter, as that's a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing rep. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. On first down, it's Gurley. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be a second and long. 
It's hard to stay mad at a player who fights for yardage, even if it's not successful. But on this play, I'm just looking at what the defense did. We always talk about gang tackling and getting more people to the football. How about the job they did there, the discipline they had? No matter how hard he fought, more and more people showed up and helped create that big loss of yardage there. That's the kind of play that the defense gets excited about. Eluding the pressure right. This one caught by Crowder. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Now it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. So they looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And Suckup will put this one right through, and that'll make it 6 0 here in the first. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. That's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Andrew Luck and company heading back onto the field. He'll look to shake off the interception on the opening drive. He should at least be comforted that it resulted in three, not six. And if I were him, I would be the guy all the way out on the field greeting my defense now, saying thanks a lot. He held him to a field goal after I turned it over. That's a big defensive stand for them. He needs to go out now and make up for what he did on the first drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Verrett. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Well, a handoff for Gurley. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for you. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They've got a second and nine to start things out. Now Wilson. Throw left side complete. It's Harmon. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Now it's Wilson. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He finds Aguilar over the... 
the middle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Out of the gun, Locke. That ball's caught. Aguilar right side. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Luck now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Back to throw, Luck. And Davis has it over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So there on that play, offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. On first and goal, Collins. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Second and goal from the six this time. From the gun, here's Love. touchdown of the new season and the Ravens can take the lead now if they hit the extra point Yeah, he is a reliable target they like to get him involved they got him involved there for the score and they should he's a very good player remember they can use him in certain positions so many different spots and he usually comes through for them here's James Get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Todd Gurley in the offense. They get set and trot back out there now. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more. Try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Emmanuel Agba. In there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Wilson. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. An outstanding pickup there for the Chiefs, 45 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now they'll pitch it back to Gurley. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, Wilson forced out to his left. And he slides to avoid the hit. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a game. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Go, 
Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Pass incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And that'll bring up second down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Another shot from the one on second and goal. touchdown on the season and the Chiefs are in for six I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone well whatever he did speaking of the offensive coordinator might be using that formula going forward it worked there yeah, it worked very well he and his field general in pretty good sync right now they're starting to move the ball well the kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Andrew Luck now. He gears up to lead this offense again. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route, too. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. On first, they go right back to Collins. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. To throw is long. Ebron with it over the middle. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards on the play. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? On first down, it's long. And quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of nine yards, and that'll make it second and short. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's long. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. 
Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Luck looks to throw on third and one. And he's getting the man, Corey Davis. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. To the air again, Locke. That is caught at the seven-yard line. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Now Luck on third and goal. This will be caught at about the five. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Bullock will put this one through. And that will cut the lead back down to three at 13 to 10. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. Attention shifts to Todd Gurley. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series. So those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10 now, Wilson. Dumps it off to Gurley. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Wilson. Blitz coming and down he goes. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. So on fourth down, here's Ryan Quigley now to kick this one away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. The final shot before the break. Lock. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he will be brought down as time is now run out 
in this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two. And we will skip the highlight show this week. Get right back to this week three matchup. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. Here's James. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Running lanes read a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Gurley again here on first down. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. From the shotgun, Wilson escaping the pressure right. The 20! To the right side and complete to Hurst. And all the way down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. David Bass leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. On third and goal, Wilson. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. And Suckup will put this one right through, and that extends their advantage to six. It's 16 to 10. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. <laughs> okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. Let's field it at the two. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Andrew Luck and company heading back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Here's Luck. That's brought in by Davis over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Here's the first down run with Collins. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. The best offenses and the ones that win are ones that make adjustments. And right now, I think this team needs to open things up. They go again with Collins. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brandon, we're into the second half, and this offense has not scored a lot of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and start really trying to move the ball. A couple of plays sent them the wrong way, and now they face a third and 14. A shotgun snap for Love. He's got his man here. It's green. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After a play like that, it should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. You're right, but he did there. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Long. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Caught right side, Davis. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and they're going to face a third down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call the position, it's who you put there, and there we saw completion. The quick slant caught, and he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. 
One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he will score! Touchdown, Baltimore! Andrew Luck with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Ravens can take the lead now if they hit the extra point. They look good on the extra point, and they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. Back now in Baltimore, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Here's James. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Flushed out right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Second and 10. It's Wilson again. It's caught on the right side. Williams. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. Wilson now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. Being chased out left. Room here to run. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Looked to me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it's a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. He lost two there, and it's third down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Dancing to his left. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. And they pick up the first down on a fourth down play. I don't know if the defense relaxed because they thought maybe they'd stop them on third down or if they just didn't protect the sticks very well. But boy, that's a big time pickup right there. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come right up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. On first and goal, Gurley. 
And he showcased the spin, but couldn't do much else as he's wrangled down. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead, because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at him with the same play, the same set, and see if they can... And he's got it! Touchdown, Chiefs! Jamison Crowder, his second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead here in the fourth. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. So now a big spot here as the Chiefs will indeed go for two. Now it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Tried to roll out and make a play outside of the pocket, but couldn't get it done. When you don't have a lot of space for your receivers to operate, and down there it's really condensed when you're snapping the ball from the two-yard line, Rolling out, you extend the play, but you don't necessarily open up better avenues for people. And on that play, there's just nowhere to go with the ball, and you end up getting sacked. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to do with you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Second and ten, luck again. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. On second down, Wilson. And he will find his man on the outside. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up. That'd be the time to do it. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it to football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. 
That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. There's Wilson to throw. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Chiefs use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Five plays there on that drive. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Andrew Luck now, he gears up to lead this offense again. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, you two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside deal. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Luck now on second down. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. <laughs> No pick, just incomplete that time. Lock on third down. Aguilar has it. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. On first down, it's Lock. Throw right side, caught by Davis. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Here's Locke. Green with a catch left side. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Again, Locke. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Now it's locked. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Time definitely of the essence now. Just under a minute to play, and here we go. And the Chiefs have got it. 
And with that, they should have a victory as well. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. He's still barreling through. <laughs> the Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Steps away to his left. Man open left side, it's Williams. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Forced out to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? You just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. The Chiefs on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and four. To throw is Wilson. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. Extra point put through by Suckup. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A drive that time of six plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
the Ravens offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. Maybe you hand it off and let someone run the ball if you, if you so choose. But otherwise, just kneel down, call it a day, and try and prepare going forward. Luck on first down. Green's got it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. And the spike comes with nine seconds left to go. And unable to connect, it's incomplete. And the clock stopped at eight seconds. On second down, here's Love. He's going to let it fly. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the all-pro corner, Josh Norman. A lot of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not at a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Chiefs, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll get another road test next week. As